नवीन या यू कीप सेइंग दैट स्कूल्स आर नॉट एम्प्लॉइंग रोट लर्निंग करेक्टली यू सेड दैट ऑन मल्टीपल ओकेजन इन मल्टीपल प्लेसेस एंड इन फैक्ट इन लॉट ऑफ आर एपिसोड बट इन 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 द एपिसोड दैट वी डिड ऑन चंकिंग यू सेड दैट रोट लर्निंग इज एक्चुअली यूजफुल राइट यस रोट लर्निंग इज नेसेसरी टू लर्न ओके यू हेट रोट लर्निंग आई हेट रोट लर्निंग या बट यू नो आर वी देन डेस्टिन टू हेट आवर लाइफ बिकॉज वी हैव टू डू समथिंग Uh, like that the answer in, is no well in the grand philosophical scheme of things we are destined to hate our lives but sorry <laughs> no uh, yeah. digressions go on the reason we hate rote learning hmm. is because we do it badly right? okay we haven't learned how to memorize things the correct way right okay. today i want to talk about spaced repetition memory huh. a technique by which rote learning becomes much easier and in some cases enjoyable and you reduce the amount of time significantly needed to memorize anything i already reduced the significant amount of time by using chunking and now you are telling me i can reduce it further yes so um you uh, haven't seen chunking go check out chunking it's a brilliant brilliant episode that mm-hmm. navin and i did a um, uh, while ago but uh, it it has some fascinating techniques that you can use go check it out so uh, let me tell you the story of this guy called ebbing house okay ebbing house yeah so he uh, was trying to learn uh, some languages ha huh. what ebbing house did hmm. was that he would take groups of words hmm. uh, to be memorized hmm. and he did different kinds of experiments on each one of them right okay. some of the words he would look at once and not revise for a long time some of them he would revise immediately in 10 minutes some mm. of them he would re- revise in an hour mm. some he would revise in a day mm. and he found some very interesting patterns right like what two patterns i want to point out okay first is that the chances of you forgetting something ha huh. fall very sharply right within 10 minutes you'll remember most of the things an hour later you'll have forgotten like half of them yeah. a day later you'll have forgotten 90% it's mm. a curve which is basically an exponential uh, decay Correct. and it's called the ebbing house forgetting curve makes the sense the second more interesting part of it is that if you memorize something mm. and you revise it 10 minutes later okay then after that if you look at the forgetting curve it is not as steep as the first forgetting curve Achha. it's a flatter curve so now you are not going to forget 90% of them in a day Haan. it is going to take you 3 days to forget 90% okay so that's And what my teachers were saying revise no but the thing is that now if you revise it again the a third time a day later ha right now the forgetting curve is even more flat now you are going to forget 90% Okay. Only you are going to remember most of them for about a week. Okay. And if you revise again within a week, you are going to now remember them for a month. So you have to revise just around the time you are likely to forget with each uh, flattened curve. So yeah, not so the two important things are one is that revise just when you are going to forget, huh? and that period hmm. becomes longer and longer exponentially, right? Ooh. So the correct schedule for revising is. first time revise within 10 minutes huh. then revise an hour later huh. then one day later then three days then seven days then one month then three months and so on and right? these numbers like concrete numbers or these are actual concrete uh, numbers repeat them again 10 minutes then an hour then a day then uh, three, three days, days then seven, seven days, days then one a month, month and so on right oh I don't have to memorize all of these you get apps which will do this for you right? <laughs> okay right? uh, because i was worried i was trying to chunk all of this into my head yeah so i tell you what is wrong with uh, school study hmm. right they didn't have a schedule like this they were like oh revise every day ah, or something like that right hmm. they would just have a fixed schedule for revision and you revised everything Correct. You are not supposed to revise everything. You are only supposed to revise the things you were just going to forget today, hmm. right? It didn't help that I was usually on the verge of forgetting everything every day. Yeah, that's But because <laughs> that's because you were maxing out your brain Haan. with revising things that you were not going to forget. See, teacher, I told you I was maxing out my brain. You thought I was kidding, and I was making excuses. So the important thing is that suppose there is a word you have memorized three times, right? now you are going to remember it for a week hmm. 
revising it tomorrow is of no use it does not increase your memory of that word mm, right. right revising it every day for the next 6 uh, days is still going to make you remember it only for 7 additional days right whereas for 6 days you don't look at it seventh day just before forgetting hmm. you revise it hmm. and now you'll remember it for a month ah right uh, a lot of the apps that are available for especially for learning languages because this is the context that uh, abinghaus also developed it hmm. in hmm. do they use this spaced memory repetition i don't it depends on the app so for example duolingo huh. and memrise are huh. two apps which use this very well uh, they are aware of this and that's why they have become so popular and so good at helping you learn yeah. whereas if you are trying to do it by yourself without knowing this you are going to end up doing it very inefficiently and you will probably end up spending like 5x or 10x the amount of time on your memorization efforts okay whereas by using this strategic revisions hmm. uh, with the help of an app you can significantly reduce by you know almost a factor of 10 or more we are not being paid by either of the two apps they are premium yeah. services yeah. duolingo no, and memrise see but if they want to pay us we'll gladly take the yeah. money just yeah. just putting it out there yeah. no you know? important thing i want to point out is that this is not hmm. just about learning languages hmm. right it can be used to learn anything it can be used for maths hmm. it can be used for physics it can be used for understanding politics hmm. anything right uh, so there is uh, there are generic apps you can get Okay. Uh, one is called Super Memo. One that I use is called Anki. And what it does hmm. is that it allows you to create a card hmm. with the front side and the back side. You look like a flash the, card. A flash card, except huh. that the app keeps track of the schedule of which one you are likely to forget on which day, and so to show it to you at that time, right? Oh. Okay. So it keeps track. So at any given time, hmm. it will know that. these cards are to be shown to you today these are to be shown to you tomorrow these to be shown a week later these to be shown a month later and so on right okay. so uh, for example right now in huh. my anki hmm. i have about 3000 cards okay you, like you made those cards yeah over a period of like 7 8 years sorry but uh, lantwati can you guess on any given day huh. how many of those 3000 do i have to revise 30 70 100 around 20 that's it okay that was doable because this anki is doing such a good job of scheduling them that most of the cards are now at a stage where i have to revise them just once a year right or once in 8 months and that's also the, because you have put in that much effort into those cards into remembering and what no 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 as in well as in the effort the point is that anki does uh, i mean this whole concept of spaced repetition ha huh. does such a good job of scheduling things ha huh. that most things very quickly the uh, i mean the way exponential uh, decay works hmm. is that very quickly most things uh, require a revision just once in a very long time right hmm. so the amount of time i spend on this on any given day is not more than 6 7 minutes Hmm. and yet i am able to memorize so many things that are important for my work hmm. and for other things so is this like a way of uh, making sure that certain things percolate down from short term memory to long term Abs- memory absolutely right uh, we did an episode on chunking hmm. uh, where we talked about uh, you know how our working memory is very <laughs> limited correct but our long term memory is unlimited and key the spaced repetition is an extremely efficient way of moving things from short term memory to long term memory mm-hmm. and also an extremely efficient way of creating chunks mm. that we can use for higher level learning you know the immediate uh, thing that comes to mind is uh, using something like this for uh, behavioral change like there are yeah. some bad habits i want to get rid of or there are some behaviors that i want to change uh i think space repetition can help me change certain Not, behaviors no the problem with space repetition is that it's only useful for memory right it's only Achha. there for changing the connections uh, in your brain uh, as far as the long term memory is concerned right okay unfortunately it doesn't help you with behavior right for okay. that you will need uh, other techniques which uh, we will talk about in a different episode called atomic habits 
Atomic Habits. Yes. I love that book. Yes, it's a I lovely love that book. book. It's a beautiful book, and if you haven't read it, do yeah. read it because uh, uh, we will talk about it. But that doesn't mean that if you read the book, you won't know. Uh, you will already know what we are going to talk about because trust me, he will come up with things that you won't even think about. Yeah. Uh, but uh, okay, so one way to uh, practice spaced repetition is to use apps like Anki or uh, in case of languages specifically Duolingo or Memrise yeah. and stuff like that. I am not in school or college anymore. I don't need to memorize subjects and textbooks and uh, theories and whatever. Hmm. Uh, why will this help me at all? Actually, you need to be learning things all the time, right? Uh, Say you use Excel. I have him, but yeah. go on. Do you use Excel? Yes, I do. If you memorize the key bindings of Excel, huh. your use of Excel will go up significantly. If you memorize some of the functions, uh, what you can achieve with Excel can go up significantly. And the only reason you are not doing that is because you are afraid of memorization, right? And Spaced repetition can help you with that. That is true, but right. the other reason why I'm not doing it is because the uh, search typically gives me whatever I want to know. So I don't. It have doesn't to. work like that, right? One is that even search is going to take you 30 seconds, whereas if you already know it, it takes you some second. You can do things much faster. It's not just a question of time. It is a question of uh, using up your working memory, right? There are some yes. things you just can't do if each step is going to take 30 seconds. He does have a good point. Yeah, he does have a good point. And by the way, in this example, you can replace search with stack overflow and you can replace functions with whatever APIs and whatnot. No, but it's not just about that Routines. either, right? Mm. I mean, if uh, for my work, mm. uh, it turns out that I need to now learn about uh, machine learning hmm. uh, right I have to slowly build up the concepts of uh, machine learning right hmm. each new paper that is uh, I'm trying to read hmm. uh, using spaced repetition to understand the papers uh, really helps hmm. uh, uh, we will uh, have a link to um, uh, Michael Nielsen's uh, article on all the different ways in which he uses spaced repetition read that a uh, lot of examples of fairly advanced things you can do to help uh, learn things using spaced repetition. Mm. Read that, read that in 10 minutes, read that in one hour, read that in one day, then read that in three, then seven, then a yes. month. Yeah. Memorize, uh, yeah. put it into your long term memory. Yeah. Right. Um, anything else that uh, uh, we need to remember in terms of space repetition and chunking? Because now you've proven that yeah. rote learning, if done correctly, if done in this manner, is incredibly helpful. So <laughs> I am 100% sure that there are kids out there who definitely hate you and there are teachers out there who love you. I would put it the reverse, right? Most of the time, I think the uh, uh, kids if they really use this correctly, mm. they're going to love me because they will end up spending much less time on uh, rote learning. On revisions and right? rote learning. Uh, yeah. The other thing I want to point out is that if you are trying to learn something very standard, mm. uh, like, you know, things in school, mm. then you can get ready-made decks of cards that you just download into your Anki app. And then you can immediately start uh, memorizing them. So when I was trying to learn Sanskrit and Persian, I just downloaded ready-made lists of words and phrases, right? But when you are trying to do something more complex, like when I was trying to learn uh, how quantum computing works, uh, at that time I ended up having to make my own cards. And also in general, uh, to do a really good job, uh, it is always best if you create your own cards. It's a little more effort upfront, but it helps you learn much better and the concepts become much stronger. Think of it as making your own notes. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, yeah fascinating. Spaced repetition memory. Karna padega, try. We'll have to try that. Yes. Shrikant, Naveen. Thank you. This is Future IQ.